Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone video. Today I want to show you the best ways to farm the torch flower, which I have to admit is not the most useful item in the game. You can use it for decoration and for orange dye. But in case you yeah, want to have a couple of those, why not use the best way to farm those? The farms themselves were actually a little bit interesting because they weren't as trivial as I thought. Okay, so let's check it out. So first of all, I want to show you the most compact sniffer based torch flower farm where you just stack a lot of sniffers in one place. Um, looks really simple, but it actually wasn't really trivial to get there. So yeah, the first thing I actually wanted to do is to yeah, come up with the smallest possible sniffer farm. So at first I thought it would be a good idea maybe just to use a 2x2 two two here out of grass blocks and put one sniffer in there. The hitbox of the sniffer is approximately a 2x2, two two. it's 1.975 by 1.975, so you can fit in there. Unfortunately, I didn't get any torch flower seeds from doing that. So, next thing I did was expanded it to a 3x3. Three three. And here, at first I didn't get any items as well, but after a while I actually got some. So if I use the data get command, check out the entity. Something interesting happened. So as I explained yesterday in my snapshot video, there is yeah, a memory stored in the sniffer's brain that keeps track of the explored position. So as you can see here, value 10 minus 63 and 10 minus 63. So that really made me wonder because um, the way I understood it was that if you have an explored position, the sniffer wouldn't try to dig there again. So big confusion and then um, to know check the code for me and he found out what's actually going on here. So the uh, explore position that I get, get saved is dependent on the center of the sniffer. So in case of the 3x3 three three here would always be the middle block. So this one here 10 minus 63. So why was the sniffer still able to dig up seeds? So a second one, I think it actually just happened. He got a third one as well. Yeah, he got a third one now. Yeah, why, why, why does this happen? Um, because the sniffer actually checks the head position for that block that is already explored. So in this case, the head is actually right around here. And that's a block that isn't explored. So if the sniffer always stays in the same place, then this explored position basically doesn't matter at all because he just um, yeah, keeps digging where his head is. So I kept the sniffer around here for uh, quite some time but then also realized that I'm not getting items at the rate of um, just having a sniffer in a pen for example. You can also compare the, the results later with that. And yeah, then I realized that it's actually important that under the head there is a grass block directly. So I actually yeah, expanded the whole farm and basically just have the sniffer now standing on a slab here in this case and then have a ring of blocks around. This was also quite interesting yesterday in the snapshot video. Um, I said that the sniffing for the torch flower seeds doesn't work on mud, but here it does. But the reason is that the sniffer actually is standing on top of the slab here, so it's slightly higher than the mud block itself. If the sniffer would stand on mud, then the head is basically too low um, to dig up the seeds. So mud does work, but the sniffer needs to stand higher. So if you would have like a pen, um, so just instead of having the grass blocks, just having mud blocks there, it actually wouldn't work because the sniffer itself is too low. So here is what the setup looks like without the sniffers. So actually using the mud here on the side, because it's not a full block, so the items can be picked up through the mud by the hoppers, unlike with the grass blocks. That's why I'm using the mud here, which is also a sniffable block. There's other sniffable blocks, pot sole and so on, but yeah, it's kind of convenient that we can just pick up stuff um, through the mud here with the hoppers. A bit of a problem with this farm is that sometimes item glitches to the side. So that's why I also have a couple of blocks around here to keep most of the items in. Can still happen with a kind of low chance an item glitches out. You could, for example, have water below to catch those as well. Or there's also different ways to do that. I just wanted to make the, the most compact setup. And I think you know, using the hoppers here kind of achieves that. 
Okay, uh, in order to align the sniffer, I'm using the amethyst clusters. You could also use other blocks, for example, another half block is the skull. It also perfectly keeps the sniffer inside. And technically, you could also try to use stairs, although, so if you use this setup here, you maybe put the sniffers on a bottom slab. You can keep them inside, but it's a bit more tricky to get the sniffers inside of the setup. So right now, you could just have maybe a couple more of those clusters here, then easily drop them in from on top. Additionally, I also have the twisting vines here that are clipped with the shears uh, to yeah, make it a bit more lag friendly. That reduces the amount of lag because the, the sniffers aren't colliding with each other anymore. So that's why that would be recommended. Also, those twisting vines allow you to put in an infinite amount of sniffers. You're just limited by lag at some point um, because yeah, that prevents the entity collision that leads to entity cramming. So I tried out this little setup here, put 25 sniffers inside and got 160 of the torch flower seeds per hour. It's also interesting to compare those rates we get with the entity cramming setup, just having a pen. So here we got a 10 by 10 of grass blocks five sniffers inside. And this also works really well. You got uh, a lay here picking up the torch flower seeds and uh, putting it into the hopper below. I also tried this out with 20 sniffers just to see how this would affect the rates and it hardly does. So with five sniffers, I got 35 torch flower seeds per hour and with 20 sniffers, 135. So you always get approximately seven torch flower seeds hour per sniffer. It's a pretty constant throughout all my testing and it's pretty much also what you get you know with this setup here. By the way those items that sometimes glitch to the side could of course also be collected by the LA in case you don't want to use a water stream. So it would also work right. You can probably even try to put an LA inside of here and try to have some item collection there but I think with the hoppers they do a pretty good job. Okay, um, then I was also curious how far you can actually push it and how many sniffers you can have within the range of one LA and made a bigger pen of the collection here in the middle. And I uh, used the command block here to first put in 40 sniffers. And again, pretty much got seven torch flower seeds per hour, 14, so 217 total. Then I also tried out with 70, again, Pretty much the same amount of items power per sniffer. And then also tried it with 100 sniffers in there. And here I actually ran into the issue that we had so many sniffers inside that the LA couldn't move anymore. So that was definitely a limiting factor. Uh, there's too many sniffers inside now and the LA just couldn't get to the items and collect them anymore. So there, this seems like there's a, a limit right around 70 uh, with this 21 by 21 setup here. Of course, the, oh, it's actually getting laggy here. So of course, the range of the lay would be yeah, more close to a circle, so you can probably boost the rates a bit more. But since the sniffer is actually that large, um, you might not even benefit too much from it. But yeah, that's also the pen approach, which is also very viable. Might also be interesting. It was actually lag friendlier having all of the sniffers here inside of the big pen, or having them in the more compact setup. So here with the big yeah, set up with 70 sniffers, I get 2.78 milliseconds per tick. And here with all of them crammed, I get 3.2 milliseconds per tick. So this is slightly more laggy. And in case you put even more sniffers in there, it will become also worse than the big pen or several big pen uh, solution because it grows not linearly, it's a bit exponential. In case you have a ton of sniffers, really, or entities in general in one spot. So in case of lag friendliness uh, would be the goal, then might be better to have them separated. So there's one more thing I want to take a look at, a torch flower seed to torch flower converter. You can use the torch flower seeds to breed the sniffers to get more, in case you wanted to get more torch flower seeds of course, but apart from that, yeah, the torch flower seed itself isn't really too useful, you can compost it of course, but yeah you probably want to get the torch flowers in the first place. So there's basically two ways. You can use bone meal or you just use uh, yeah, farmland, big field where you place it down. So the torch flower works like crops instead of a flower actually. So you just need to wait 
and speed this up by increasing random tick speed until it's fully grown. Or I use bone meal for that and make a little nano farm. So I made one here. I'm using four dispensers. Just actually um, a bit random if a bone meal attempt will be successful. So it can happen, yeah, as I did here, that the bone meal attempt is not successful also multiple times in a row. So it's not really guaranteed like with the carrots or potatoes that a certain amount of bone meal attempts would give you a fully grown torch flower. That also makes it a bit tricky uh, to make a nano farm because you can't really run it at 100% efficiency without making it kind of complicated. But yeah, here would be a simple setup that works pretty well above 95% efficiency. So yeah, let's just turn it on. Uh, I'm gonna set myself quickly to survival mode. There's also a dispenser here on the side that would uh, give you more seeds. We could also AFK this. Okay, let's turn it on. So we just stand here, place the torch flower seeds. They get bow milled from four sides and uh, turned into the torch flowers that you just pick up. All right, so how does the harvesting work? We're using a sticky piston here on the side. Let me actually quickly turn it off. An end rod in front. Uh, because it's creative, an end rod doesn't destroy the farmland, unlike if you would just I use a piston or something like that uh, and then extend this then it destroys the farmland or if you try to push in another block. But there's a couple blocks uh, that would work. A carpet would also be a solution in case you don't have an end rod but then you might need a supporting block here below. Could be a slab or whatever. So you can also use a carpet. It doesn't have to be the end rod. Uh, let's also show it with the carpet. Real quick, why not? So there we go. Let's turn it back on. And as you can see, it also works. So in case you want to build this, I don't think we need a block by block tutorial. You can just look at it. So you need four dispensers here that surround the farmland. Here on the side, I also have a water source. In this case, just some waterlogged leaves um, to hydrate the farmland, of course. Then I put um, rails here on top of those two dispensers. So they're getting updated. And here, redstone dust, so we can put the two tick repeater here on the side. That both powers the sticky piston and the dropper, you can put in your torch flower seeds. Of course, you can also just add a hopper to this in a chest to have even more storage. And if you want, you can also then expand this and add bow mill storage for the, for the yeah, dispensers and so on. You can also put a hopper below here so the torch flowers will be picked up if your inventory is full. So you can yeah, adjust this however you want. Okay, yeah, here we got the on off switch. It basically just extends the sticky piston with the observer in front, the points into the dispenser and the yeah, second observer here for the observer clock. Okay, should be clear. That's how you can farm torch flowers in the best way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching and see you next time, bye bye!